All right, we're going to look at how to add an endpoint to DraftBit, and we're using the Superbase. So if you click here for database and you go to Superbase, this is where you do the setup. I've already explained that uh, in another video, but this time we're just going to add an endpoint. So we're just going to come to Superbase. And we're going to choose the back end. We're going to say add an endpoint. All right. So here is where you have to do a little bit of setup. But in this instance, we're going to say uh, this is the users, plural. And it's going to be a get many. The object type is going to be uh, users. The path and parameters. So this is the endpoint information that has your query and everything. And if you're unsure of where to find that, you can always go to uh, your Superbase. Actually, let's just look at that real quick. So let's go to Superbase real quick. And when I log in and I go to the app and I go over here to API, so what we're looking at are, uh, we're looking at users here and we want bash because this gives us all the information. So what we're really looking for is this last part right here. Okay. Uh, when you set it up, like we uh, had shown in the other video, previous video, this first portion is set up with DraftBit already. So it's just this rest from, now, Superbase provides this input, all of these different options. And in this case, we want the read all rows. And so that will be this portion here. And so if we go back to draft bit, we just include that. So this is rest version one users and select all for the headers. These are all the headers that you have uh, that you have to set up already. And those are based on the Superbase uh, setup with DraftBit. And then we go to, to point four here or step four. And let's see. Oops. And so what it wants us to do is this is rather annoying. So what this is telling you, you must give your endpoint a cache key. Uh, it's kind of confusing. You can go read the docs, but what it's saying is over here, this did not get accepted. And you have to make sure that you hit enter and that it turns blue. All right. When you come back over here, then it will say ready to go. You can test it. And if you get a response, then that endpoint is up and running. All you have to do then is save it. And there's your get endpoint. So likewise, if we look at our options over here and we want, say, connections, the same thing will apply. We go to read all rows and that's going to be the select all. So we can come back to draft bit at an endpoint. This is going to be connections. It's a get, a get mini. So again, connections here, our path, the headers, we just leave the same and we're ready to test that and we run. So we received a 200, this is an empty array and we can save that and go on through. All right, I hope this helps. Thanks a lot.